In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate soft tissue technique applied to the lumbar spine region. I'm going to be pushing on a couple areas in your low back, and I'm also going to be making contact uh, to this bone right here in front of your pelvis, um, and I'm going to be kind of pulling back at the same time that I'm pushing on your back. Let me know if anything is uncomfortable, and I can stop at any time. Okay. okay. So we're going to start with our patient in a prone position. Go ahead and lie face down. For this example, we're going to be uh, applying a unilateral prone pressure or perpendicular stretch, but we're going to be using the pelvis as counter leverage. So now to make sure that uh, I'm not leaning over too far, I'm going to ask my patient to move closer to me. So move a little bit more to the left. Good. So I'm going to start by finding the spinous processes and I'm going to assess the paraspinal musculature. And I feel a little bit more tension on this right side in this lumbar region. Is there any tenderness here? Yeah. All right. So there's some tenderness. We find some tissue texture uh, changes, some asymmetry with more hypertonicity on the right side than the left side. We're going to find a, our spinous processes again, and we're going to make contact with our phenar eminence just lateral to those spinous processes. And our thumb in this instance is going to be pointing down or can also tuck into the rest of our hand. And we're going to be using the heel of our hand to apply an anterior pressure, hooking on the medial aspect of those uh, lumbar paraspinals, and then applying a lateral pressure. But then with our other hand, we're going to reach over and contact the ASIS of the pelvis on the ipsilateral side. So I'm just going to be grabbing uh, this bone right here in the front of your pelvis, okay? All right, so now making contact with the ASIS. And then at the same time that you're applying an anterior and lateral pressure with your cephalad hand, you're also going to pull your ASIS posterior, which is going to provide a counter leverage force. And you can do this either as a intermittent, more rhythmic stretching and kneading, or if you have a particular area that is more restricted, like this upper lumbar region right here, you can apply a more sustained pressure. And you wait just until you feel tissue release. And when you begin to feel some tissue release, then you can continue with the rest of your treatment, treating any areas that have any particular restriction. And then we'll return our patient back to a neutral position and then reassess for somatic dysfunction. And that does feel significantly better on that right side.